hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial uh, so i took long to start making the tutorial videos because i was very busy but um i a bit free so i'll be making videos depending on the questions that you are sending to me so today we're looking at question 16 yeah so we're looking at this question that is under the rational numbers yeah so before i can even start if you have not yet subscribed to the channel uh, make sure that you click on that button which is just below the screen which says subscribe so just click on that button you subscribe so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting okay so let's quick i mean let's quickly begin uh let's quickly begin okay so when according to this question it reads uh write the following in the form a over b where a and b are integers that are relatively prime so what they are simply talking about is um they just it, this is just the uh, the definition of rational numbers so a rational number is a number this is just a definition of na rational numbers a rational number is a number that can be expressed in the form a over b where a and b are members of integers a and b are members of integers and then a and b are uh, are co prime factors are co prime factors so when you say co prime factors um co prime factors so when you say co prime factors we are simply talking about this statement at the end relatively prime yeah so they are co prime factors meaning they are in their lowest term there's no number that can go into a there's no number that can go into b i mean there's no number that can go into this fraction they are in their lowest term and then apart from that uh the definition according to the definition of um, rational numbers b should not be equal to zero yeah so and b are supposed to be members of integers and then a and b should be co-prime factors or they are they, they are supposed to be relatively prime and then b should not be equal to zero and then apart from that i mean i think this is how you define a, a, a rational number so let us now quickly begin to solving the questions so the question is saying we express each of these we express each of these in the form a over b so let me take a so i'm um, getting a so it's simply uh, i mean a is simply 3.3 .3 bar so 3 bar means so this is just the same as 3 point uh the threes are repeating like this yeah so the threes are repeating okay so the first thing that you do when you're dealing with such a question uh the first thing that you do when you're dealing with su such a question you say uh, let x be equal to 3.3 .3 bar so from there we're going to move this point closer to the repeating number so how can we do that okay it's already closer to the repeating number so in this case we skip that step we go to the next step where we just uh, move this point to cover the repeating number so we're going to cover the repeating number meaning we're going to move one step so if we move one step when the point moves one step it's just the same as multiplying by 10 on both sides so we multiply 10 times x we get 10 x then 10 times that we get 33.3 .3 bar so here now we can subtract the the second i mean the first equation from the second equation so we're going to say 10x minus x is equal to 33.3 bar minus 3.3 bar so when we subtract this this is this is going to give us 9x and then this side we're going to get uh, 30 so the value of x therefore becomes 30 over 9 yeah so 30 over 9 is the value of x but of course the question says a and b should be in their, in their lowest term so if a and b should be in their lowest term it means that you can uh, you can simply uh, find uh, the number that can go into 9 and 30 and of course i think it's uh, 3 so 3 into 30 that will give us 10 and then 3 into 9 that will give us 3 so this is the final answer that they wanted let's quickly move on to b 
so uh, b is simply just um, x i'll say let x be equal to uh, two point this is b here two point uh, one three bar okay two point one three bar so we move this point closer to the repeating number so meaning we're going to move one step one so if we move one step it's just the same as multiplying by 10 if we move two steps it's just the same as multiplying by 100 three steps multiplying by 1000 so in this case we move one step one and then we have 21.3 bar so in this case three is the one that is repeating so the other step now we move the point covering the repeating number so we we'll move another step one so meaning we multiply this 10 times and times another 10 which will give us 100x this side this side will get will get 213.3 bar and then from there we can now subtract the this i mean this equation from that so we say 100 100 x minus 10 x is equal to 213.3 bar minus uh, 21.3 bar so when you subtract this you get 90 x and then this will be equal to 213.3 bar minus 21.3 bar so that to give us 192 uh, so get uh, 192 wait okay so get 192 so we divide everything by 90 everything by 90 so the value of x will therefore be equal to find a number that can go there and there then when you simplify this you get something like 35 over 15 so this will, this will give us uh, 35 over 15 so this is the answer that they wanted us to find so let's quickly let, let, let's quickly move on to the next question which is part c okay let me just erase this okay so part c c is simply just um 3.312 then we have two numbers repeating there one and two so we first say let x be equal to 3.312 bar so when you do that we can now just uh, move this point closer to the repeating number so meaning we move one step one so this is just the same as multiplying by 10 and then this is going to be equal to 33.12 bar so we move uh, the next step. We move uh, this point covering the repeating numbers. So we're going to cover uh, the repeating numbers, which is one and two. So we're moving two steps, which is just the same as multiplying hundred times ten. This side, which will give us one thousand x, is equal to hundred times that to get three three one two point. Of course, these numbers are repeating. You don't have to leave them. And then we subtract. 1000 minus 10 so we say 1000 x minus 10 x is equal to 3312.12 bar minus 3312 bar so we subtract 1000 minus 10 this will give us 990 x is equal to then when we subtract this part we'll get um, okay let's do it quickly there since we're not allowed to use calculators so we say that 312.12 bar uh, bar uh, minus uh, 33.12 bar so when you subtract this this and that to give us a zero point and then when you subtract this this part will just give us something like uh, 3279 so we write our 3279 there and then 3279 and then we divide everything by 990 990 and then the value of x that we're going to find will simply just be uh, so when you reduce that to its uh, lowest you find that the answer you get is uh, 193 
then over 330 yeah so you divide this by 3 divide that by 3 yeah then you got you, you get that as your answer so that is simply what you get after doing the division and then the answer yeah so that is what you get that's the answer that's the final answer you can't reduce it further than that all right let's do the next one which is this one okay let's do the next one so the next one is simply d which is just 5.123 and then the, the whole three numbers are repeating so we say let x uh, let x be equal to 5.123 but so the point is already closer to the repeating number so we just move po at this point to cover the repeating numbers so this is just the same as multiplying by 1 2 3 which is 1000 so I have 1000 x this side is equal to um, when you multiply by 1000 this side we have 5123.123 bar so we subtract 1000 and say 1000 minus uh, x so this side is the same as 1000 minus 1000 x minus x uh, is equal to then we have 5123.123.123 uh, uh, minus 5.123 so when you subtract this side we are getting 999 uh, x this side when you subtract this yeah you can write that 5123.123 bar we subtract it which is minus uh, 5.123 bar then when you subtract this this and that will give us a zero then point this is 13 uh, 13 minus 5 that should give us 8 then we have one one five there okay so this is just five one one eight so we divide everything by nine 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 even this side nine 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 the value of x will simply just be equal to uh that will just give us when you reduce this uh you divide everything by three you get uh Sorry, you get that to be one seven one seven zero six then everything divided by three 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 so that's what you're going to have as your answer there so that is your answer yeah so let's quickly move on to the next question okay so the next question is this one here the next question is this one all right so which is e so e is simply just um negative five point uh, seven one bar so this point this negative here um let us just consider this to be a positive number because if we are going to get this negative we are going to error somewhere so let us just say let x be equal to 5.71 so from there we can now say um, um, okay from, from there we can now say we move this point closer to the repeating number where it's but 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 when you check here it's already there so we just move po this point to cover the repeating numbers so when you cover the repeating numbers we'll have something like um th it's just the same as multiplying by 100 this side and then this side when you multiply by 100 you get five point oh sorry 571 uh, um i don't like writing seven like this okay so you just get 571.71 bar so from there we can now start subtracting but anyway what i think is that whether we add the negative or not the answer will still be the same okay let's just add it there since it's in the question 
subtract we subtract this minus that we we'll have 100 x minus x is equal to uh, negative 571.71 bar minus uh, negative uh, 5 minus negative 5.71 uh, bar so when you subtract this minus that the answer will just give us 99x and then the answer here will be when you subtract uh, 571 say 571.71 bar um, minus uh, 5.71 so when you subtract this uh, this is bar this will give us a zero this side then this is 11 minus 5 we get 6 and then you have 6 5 okay so that is 566 yeah so this would be negative 566 of course because 571 is bigger than um, positive 5.1 oh sorry uh, I mean we are getting the, now the the sign of a bigger number yes so 571 is bigger than that so yeah but mathematically when you follow the number line positive 5 uh, positive 5 is bigger than negative 571 but when you subtracting the grade 1 way of exp explanation you get the number of a bigger I mean the sign of the bigger number okay I'm sure you know what I'm talking about okay so 99 over 99 this side so the value of x gives us so when you divide that which is 566 divided by uh, 99 the answer that you get is simply just uh, negative um, when you reduce that this one do we have a number that can go there and there we don't have so we leave it the same so this is just this will just be le left like this without reducing it all right so this is how so this is the answer this is how you deal with uh, rational numbers so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial uh, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out the next tutorial videos that I'll be sending So if you have any questions send me that question on WhatsApp uh, My WhatsApp line is in the description and some of you are already in my WhatsApp group So just inbox me with that question. I'll make a tutorial video for you and Then you you feel free you understand you I'm sure you enjoy it. Okay. Thank you very much uh, For your attention. My name is Hamted